Well, the ministers of culture for France and Benin, who you might be able to make out just behind me, are about to make a declaration. And also we can see Emmanuel Macron, the French president, and the president of Benin, Patrice Talon. They are about to speak to us here. That transfer act of the 26 artefacts that was stolen by French troops at the end of the 19th century from the Kingdom of Dahomey. They are going to be sent back to Benin. We can hear now the French president telling us that he's very happy to be here today to welcome the president of Benin. Emmanuel Macron has been very clear. He's insisted for a long time that he wants these artifacts to be accessible for the people of Benin, particularly young people. How did this all come about, Claire? Well, I can hear now Emmanuel Macron telling us that this is an historic and also an emotional moment because he said four years ago to a group of students in Burkina Faso, six months after he was elected French president, that it was not OK, that he couldn't accept the fact that so many African cultural artefacts were in France and that they should be back home so that the people of Benin but also other African countries who have made requests for restitution of their heritage be in the country where they belong in order for the people to have access to them and to be able to learn about their own cultural heritage and Emmanuel Macron has also said clearly that this is the right path and he believes that hopefully more paths like this will be opened up. By that he means other former colonial powers, European countries who are holding on to artifacts from their former colonies could begin to return them back, back to their homes.